Jana, thanks. Western Mass News is your election authority as voting is underway for the primary elections right here in Massachusetts. Many big races are on the ballot, including the race for governor. Included on that ballot are Democratic candidates Maura Healy and Sonia Chang-Diaz. However, Sonia has announced that she is dropping out of the race. On the Republican side, Chris Doty and Jeff Deal are battling it out tonight ahead of the general election in November. And those aren't the only key races. We have live team coverage for you this hour as we continue to track other big races. Paris Dunford is on standby in Chicopee following the state Senate race. But first, let's begin with Lexi Oliver. She's live in Longmeadow with the latest on the race for lieutenant governor with a local name on the ballot, Lexi. Chris, Mary, Eric Lesser stopped by this polling location at Long Meadow Town Hall earlier today where he voted with his wife and three kids. He's actually back here again, standing behind me with some of his supporters. Now, he's hoping to land that open seat as our state's next lieutenant governor. And if you take a look at your screen now, here are the Democratic lieutenant governor choices. You have Kimberly Driscoll, Tammy Govea, and Eric Lesser. And we spoke with all three today to see how they're feeling just hours before those results are announced. Now it's in the people's hands. The the race for lieutenant governor is well underway, and despite the rainy weather Tuesday, candidates are optimistic. I think it's good luck to rain. It's been really energizing, even with the rain. Uh, there's a lot of joy. And Other than the weather keeping us pretty wet, um, it's been fantastic. Feel really great about how we finished this race. All three Democratic candidates hoping to partner with Massachusetts's next governor tell Western Mass News what sets them apart. I have been a social worker for 25 years. I'm running to be a different type of lieutenant governor, one who has had a lot of the financial challenges that so many families are facing. I grew up in a gateway city. I've been a single mom. So I've been the mayor for the last 16 years. I've managed the city through a recession, through COVID response and recovery. I think that type of experience really prepares you to take, and take on the challenges. I think people appreciate as well the importance of having regional balance on a ticket. I'm the only candidate from Western or Central Mass, not only for lieutenant governor, but for any uh, ballot, uh, ballot line on the Democratic side up and down the ballot. Kim Driscoll, currently the mayor of Salem, telling Western Mass News she wants to strengthen access to abortion as well as reduce costs for working families around the common. Well, so you know how expensive childcare is. I'm the mom of three who at one time had three kids under the age of five, felt like a second mortgage payment. Current state representative Tammy Guvea says she wants to work to address the housing crisis and provide financial relief. We're building plenty of places and we're retrofitting a lot of buildings, but a lot of that is getting gobbled up by very wealthy individuals and private investment firms, and that is pushing everyday hardworking people right here in Massachusetts out of being able to find a place to rent, being able to find a home as a young family, or being able to downsize as, as a senior or folks in, in retirement. And Eric Lesser, well known in Western Mass as a state senator, wants to work to expand vocational schools and give Western Mass a seat at the table. I think we know what's at stake uh, when we have somebody from Western Mass, from Central Mass, who can speak for our needs, who can get West East Rail done, who can partner with Governor Healy to bring more investment, more attention, more focus to our region. And the candidates for Republican Lieutenant Governor are Leah Allen and Kate Campanale. And polls do close tonight at 8, so you still have about two hours to make your way out if you haven't voted already. Reporting live in Longmeadow, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News. Lex